Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, before Senator Chirargei read the concluding part of uh, his statement, and you'd think that this is a conspiracy, I moved to the clerk's table and I was asking uh, Clerk Mohammed, where is that particular standing order on uh, people who can address this parliament? Because I wanted to read it, internalize, and see what limitations we have. But then later on, actually, he mentioned it in his statement that uh, Kenyans who achieve such great feats are worth appearing before us. You know, Mr. Speaker, we have made it appear as if um, when Kenyans achieve great things, it's okay and it's proper for them to be celebrated outside, but then just treat them as casual beings back here at home. I know for a fact, Mr. Speaker, that on many occasions, not even our president, present and past, enjoy some of the privileges that these athletes are accorded and enjoy in some of the great capitals of this world. You have read in newspapers many times before. I know that in 2012, for example, then sports minister, who by coincidence or lack of God's blessings is a sports minister today, Ababu Namwamba, could not be allowed into the London Olympic Stadium as a cabinet minister. But when they enlisted him as a personal assistant to one of our athletes, that's the only time he was allowed into the stadium. That's how serious the rest of the world treats our athletes, uh, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, I appreciate the gesture or the proposal by Senator uh, I will be engaging my counterpart, the leader of minority, uh, to listen what ideas, if he agrees to the proposal, or what, a be what better way it can be done. Because indeed, this House needs to listen to some of these athletes. They can share with us on how the challenges they continue to face as they fly the flag high, and the legislative proposals or intervention, at least, that we'll, we will come up with that will make their life a, bi a bit better. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, as a statement by Senator Sifuna, I know Mutindo very, Market very well, Mr. Speaker, and Toy as well. I grew up a few meters away from Mutindo Market. And uh, I know from many, many decades ago that many young people ply their trade there, Mr. Speaker. And I have seen in the agony of many of my childhood friends when they wake up one morning and they are told, your entire stock which in most of occasions is their entire life savings, has been burnt up to ashes. And you know, these are young people. They don't have business uh, insurance that you'd say they report somewhere. And somebody has to start from scratch again, uh, Mr. Speaker. I want to uh, request, Mr. Speaker, that we said at the beginning of the term that this is a Senate that will deal with matters with finality, that enough is enough with many of these common problems that keep on appearing and reappearing before this floor. So I want to urge uh, my good uh, friend, Senator Sifuna, that perhaps together with the som uh, Committee on Lands, because I know this, at the heart of this fight, is a title deed. There's nothing else. And I know president after the other, from President Kibaki, President Uru Kenyatta, and even President Moi, actually, I can recall. On many occasions, who has visited the occasions while passing on Jogoro previously, and, oh, I hear there are people whose stalls were burnt in Kikoba. I'll tell my peers, process that title deed. But that has never happened. Perhaps it is time that our lands committee does an inquiry on, one, the size of this particular land, on whose name is the title registered to. If we can sort out that issue with finality, then I can assure you, Senator Sifuna, those fires will disappear. Because the, these people that are uh, burned the stalls of these uh, business uh, people, many of them young hustlers that are trying to put life together, Mr. Speaker, are targeting the land. They, want, they do this with the hope that these people will either give up or collapse in their businesses, and therefore they can be left free with the land. I propose, Mr. Speaker, that our Committee on Lands does not treat this matter casually, that they ensure that this issue of the ownership of these parcels of land, Tindo Market, Toy Market, Gikomba, and all these places, is concluded on, the title properly handed to the county, because this is public, uh, these are public land, so that that matter is sealed with finality. I can assure you, the minute we sort the issue of uh, ownership, Mr. Speaker, the fires will disappear and our young uh, men and women that ply their trade in these markets will never have to deal with this tragedy again. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the, this.